I think oralisation is something that, that room acousticians get quite excited about because it's that instant way of showing a client or design team how a building is actually going to sound before it's actually been built. It's really empowering the client to use their ears over judgement of numbers. First we start off with a 3D acoustic model. We can use that firstly to generate the room acoustic parameters to predict the quality in the space. But another thing we can do with the acoustic model is generate something called the room impulse response. And that's basically a picture of showing how the room will react to an impulsive sound. What we can then do with that is take a suitable sound input file and using um, a process called convolution, we can generate an output file and show how that original file gets processed through the space and how that actually sounds. It's very important um, when we're considering oralisation, not just to gain a picture of how a single speaker or speech source might sound in the space, but also to combine that with the likely noise. It might be the air conditioning noise, it might be just the general noise which gets generated by other occupants in the space. All those sorts of things which our brains are not necessarily even aware of and processing, but are always there within a soundscape and that really um, adds reality to the final oralised result. We've built a library of our own unique and bespoke recordings which are suitable for anything from shopping malls to airports to train stations, classrooms certainly as well and, and lecture type spaces. Rather than restricting this to concert halls and other high-end performance spaces, um, we have made uh, the service more accessible and we're using it on all sorts of different projects. We like to get involved as early as possible. The implication of not being involved at the right stage is that if the acoustics aren't right um, once the building has been constructed, um, it results in an expensive retrofit of acoustic treatment. Not only is, it, is there expense and cost implications involved, it's also not integrated architecturally. So by being involved right at the beginning of that design process, we can integrate all of the acoustic solutions.